welcome to my YouTube channel IPDA Trader. Today's topic of discussion, it's all going to be around liquidity. I'm going to start by giving a quick definition of what liquidity actually is. For those of you who are not familiarized with the concept, then I'm going to move on to explain the different types of liquidity we have in the market, how to spot them on charts, and finally how we can take advantage of that knowledge in order to potentially profit out of the market. So, to start off by giving a definition of what liquidity actually is, I'm going to pull up my whiteboard. We have a whiteboard now, great. And I'm going to draw a bullish market. I think we can all agree this is a market that is bullish, that is pushing up, right? We have a bullish market. Now, what is liquidity? Liquidity is essentially the sole driver of the market. It's the only reason why the price actually moves up or down. It's like gas for a car, in a sense. In order for price to move up, you need liquidity. And for price to move down, you also need liquidity. To illustrate my point, let's simply draw a consolidating market, right? We can all agree the market is consolidating at this point. And if you trade retail concepts, right, what you've told, what you've been told is that you need to buy at support, sell at resistance, and retail traders are looking at this, oh, we bounced, bounced, bounce, bounce, and bounce. So the next time the market comes on here, I'm going to sell. And the same thing for the uh, support buyers, right? They're going to be looking to buy down here. Now, what the, what the market has actually done when it's doing something like this, it's engineering liquidity. It's creating liquidity in order to potentially move in a intended direction, right? So uh, liquidity is essentially when there's multiple stop losses around a similar or yeah similar price point now i'm not talking about your hundred dollar um retail stop loss right you need to understand that the forex market uh, the retail traders make up only five percent of the total volume traded in the forex market we also have smaller banks, small institutions, which are also trading. So to illustrate that further, we can safely say that we have liquidity up here. Why? Because people are looking to sell right around here. And we're going to put the stop losses. Stop losses going to be, we're going to have multiple um, stop losses all around this area, right? Just imagine those circles are actually stop losses right we're gonna have stop losses all around here and stop losses all around here so what you will find is most of the time if price is actually going to break out and move up first what it's going to do it's going to move down potentially into a area of inefficiency into a uh, poi or point of interest right it's gonna move down it's gonna while it's moving down it's grabbing all that liquidity from the retail and then it's gonna shift and you're gonna have the up move which is going to target all the liquidity sitting above here right so now that was the explanation of what liquidity is what you need to understand is liquidity is, is the reason why the price actually moves and the algorithm is going to target um, those liquidity pools or liquidity areas just as explained in this example so now i'm going to move on to the different types of liquidity and do not worry i will uh, show charts examples for that so let's continue with that okay great let's now continue with the different types of liquidity we have in the market and as you can see I've um, separated them in two sections. We've got the visible liquidity and the hidden liquidity. And we're going to start with visible liquidity because it's much simpler. We only have one type and we're going to be discussing that right now. 
so the only type of visible liquidity you have in the market is the relative equal high and low liquidity and to illustrate that point let's draw a potential downtrend right and let's um, go back in time and think about when you first started trading and you were introduced to all these concepts support resistance double tops double bottom triple top triple bottom and yeah essentially um relative equal high and low liquidity is that double tops triple tops uh, double bottom triple bottom right let's imagine price starts to push up and it stops here right and it starts to bounce as price starts to bounce what we know is that there's going to be multiple people that are going to be selling this why because they've learned this is a double top we need to sell right now price is going to fall and what you will find if you actually look at the charts it's you will have a a mini reaction right which is known as inducement and most often than not then you will get price to actually blow through that double top and then melt and they're going to be left wondering why what happened here why did i lose what did i do wrong this and that well what they didn't know is that they were selling a double top which the algorithm is pretty much programmed to target that so they're doing the opposite of what they actually need to do to win in the market so and this is just an example for relative equal highs right if you if you see that they're left untouched right you, you form a double top and you move and then it actually works because that's a probability too um you can use that as a target for your buys in case you want you end up getting into a buy and price starts to move up and you're happy you can use that as a target for your for your position why because you know there's liquidity up here and there's a possibility that price is just moving up to target that and reverse but most often than not as i've just explained you will get this scenario where you induce them you move a little bit away they start to get happy and then you get them blown through so yeah that's everything about the visible liquidity in regards to the equal high equal lows so i'm going to remove all this and we're gonna be looking at some charts examples right so let's move on into the charts and i think yes right here we've got a beautiful example of a relative equal high liquidity being perched so as you can see right here we had price moving up creates a high moves away come back and as you can see it's it's not necessarily exact equal highs right that's why we call them relative equal highs in essence what you know is that you have liquidity up here because you got a double top one and two and as you can see price moves away for a bit and then comes back up with this wick takes them out and the real down moves begin right so that's um I hope uh, this should be pretty clear now what actually that visible type of liquidity we have in the market now moving on into the hidden liquidity let's start by talking about the trend line liquidity this is pretty self-explanatory if you know what a trend line is then you know what trend line liquidity is right what you will find is that sometimes um, when price is moving up it's going to move up in a very compressed and fashion way like this right and what price is essentially doing is creating trendline liquidity some people will identify it will see that as a trendline and they're going to be waiting for price to get down here and they're going to be looking for buys and this is pretty much the same outcome as this type of liquidity right you will get the move down they will get the mini reaction and they'll they will get the blown through because we've got plenty of liquidity down here right there's multiple stop losses across this area so 
that's also something we can target as a uh, we can use as a target right it also helps us preventing bad or mm, POIs that are not going to hold for example if um, if I have a market structure like this and I see that we've got trendline liquidity all around all, all around here I'm not gonna be looking for any POIs to take sales at this point right because I know that this right here is all liquidity and the probability tells me that it's going to get wiped out rather than uh, holding and drop in right so i would i would i would actually wait for the liquidity of the trailer to get wiped into a possible origin block that i can then safely watch for potential entries right so let's now look at a single example i don't i don't think we need much much explanation here so as you can see i've already labeled this for you we've got trend line liquidity right here as you can see this is a trend line we've got multiple touches one two three four as you can see it doesn't need to be exact right you just need to uh, identify with your eyes where the trend line liquidity is sitting so this will this will help me if i'm taking sales i know that i can safely probably get through all of this stuff because this is just liquidity and i know that i can target lower on the other hand if i'm looking for bias i know that i don't want to be buying any of these order blocks whatever right because those are liquidity and their probability says that they're going to get wiped and we don't want to take entries there okay so now that we understand trend line liquidity let's move on to the next type of liquidity which is previous daily weekly monthly highs and lows this is also pretty self-explanatory so we can see on the charts this right here is liquidity every every major swing point to be honest right around here right every major daily swing points those are considered liquidity why because there is plenty positional traders that are looking to either uh, let's move a little bit back that just like this right as you can see we have a swing point right here and there's people that are that have stop losses below this above this above this below this above every major uh, swing point we're going to have liquidity and sell and buy stops so you need to keep that in mind whenever you're doing your charting you need to look at the uh, swing points mainly based on the daily weekly and monthly and you will find those liquidity pools because that's that's what they are essentially the third type of hidden um, liquidity is actually the Asia low high, London low high, New York lo uh, low and high liquidity, right? You actually, as you can see here from my chart, I've got labeled an, uh, an Asia high liquidity. If we turn the indicator on, that's the only indicator I use and I use it as a visual reference so as you can see this is an asia high that has not been liquidated yet so i know that any poi inside this region is most likely not going to hold why because we've got liquidity right above it so what they're essentially going to do is they're going to grab it into a real poi that is probably going to provide some good reactions right so that's why i'm not afraid to hold a position through uh through a asia higher low because i know that's that most often than not they get targeted right and what you would do is for example you go here you see this is a asia high that has not been taken yet you go you actually mark it up all right asia high and then you have it as a reference you know that that is liquidity and that is something you can target 
Same thing uh, goes for London lows and highs. However, I don't have an indicator for that. So you're going to need to do the uh, work yourself. She's just going to be looking at the London hours and identifying London highs and low points, whichever uh, those who are not liquidated, you want to knock them down and you want to avoid trading POIs inside that region. Why? Because they're not going to hold because they are liquidity. Now that that is pretty much um, if we go back here and we remove this. That is pretty much all the different types of liquidity explained, right? Oh, no. OK. So we talked about this type of liquidity. We've explained train line liquidity. We've explained this type of liquidity, which is the major swing points, as, it, as explained, important. You need to note them down as well. And the session liquidity. That's pretty much all the different types of liquidity and how to spot them on charts. And that's about it. Now, finally, I'm going to move on to and actually talk about how to use it in our advantage, even though I actually uh, already touched upon it, but let's continue. Okay, now that we've covered all the different types of liquidity, how to spot them on the charts and what liquidity actually is, we're going to move on to how to use it in our advantage to potentially make a profit in the market, right? So now that you have all that knowledge in regards to liquidity, you know, and you should be aware that you should avoid trading POIs or point of interest that have no liquidity uh, grabbed into them, right? You don't want to use an order block or whatever you use to identify, whoops, to identify uh, your POI if there's no liquidity grab into the block, right? Let's imagine this is your order block, your point of interest, and price just comes down like this, right? You don't want to be buying this because there's no liquidity grab into it, right? If you had an Asia low sitting right here, then yes, you could potentially uh, monitor that POI to take entries. But if you do not have liquidity grabbed into the POI, you don't want to use that POI because it's mostly going to fail, pretty much. Now, what else can you do now? You can use liquidity pools as target, right? Now that you understand where liquidity is, if you happen to get into, let's say this down move, you happen to get into a buy position somewhere right here, and you know you've got trendline liquidity all around here, well, then that's going to be great for you because you know you can, you don't have to worry about all the order blocks and POIs within this region because there are liquidity and they're going to get wiped most likely and you know you can go ahead and target higher somewhere around here maybe at the origin of the swing right at the origin block those are the highest probability blocks but that's for another video okay so you can do that too what else can you do with this knowledge is avoid fake POIs right you can now avoid fake POIs. Well, and you can do so because you know that uh, order blocks or POIs within Asia highs and lows and London highs and lows, they're fake POIs and they're liquidity pools and they're not going to hold. Now let's take a look at the actual chart. So if we look at the chart right now, as you can see, I'm in a, I'm in a buy position. And I'm honestly, if price was to make its way up here, right? If price was to make its way up here, which I'm, I, I don't really know, right? With 100% certainty, I would not be worried about any POI here, right? Like you see this little order block, I wouldn't be looking 
um, for a sell here because this is liquidity and with probability this is not going to hold. This is just a fake POI. Now on the other on the other side, if we see here, right, if we've got let me remove this quickly. We have trend line liquidity here as we discussed before. And as you can see, we've got an order block right here. If we drag it across, I can almost certainty guarantee you this is did this didn't help at all, right? And now you know the reason. Now you know why this order block didn't work. And potentially you can avoid it next time, right? It didn't work because it was sitting at trend and liquidity and that's going to get smashed. Now, if you follow all these uh, simple principles, your win rate and profitability should skyrocket because you're going to be avoiding bad trades at fake POIs, um at liquidity pools and all that stuff now you can focus on the pois that really matter so yeah i hope you guys found this video useful if you did please leave a like and comment below subscribe and um stay tuned because i will be releasing more content very soon and it's going to be exclusive content you guys probably have not seen on YouTube before because the concepts I trade, you cannot find them on the internet pretty much. So yeah, thank you for watching and if you need to rewatch certain sections, feel free to do so. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comment and I'll see you guys next time.